Do insects have a central nervous system? So depends on how you define central nervous system. There's two definitions for what you might call a central nervous system versus a decentralized nervous system. One is decentralized. If you remove the brain or the head of the animal, you sever that connection and the animal continues to move about and do its regular animal things. For example, if our head gets removed, our body doesn't keep walking around doing body things. And so that is an example of a centralized nervous system. A decentralized nervous system is one where you were able to take off the head of the animal and they will continue to walk around. So with insects, it is a decentralized nervous system. Ants, fruit flies, any kind of insect that has a clear head connection, head to thorax connection. Any insect that has that head to thorax connection that's easily accessible, so like your fruit fly, your ant, your honeybee, if you remove the head of the animal that's taking off the brain and cutting essentially the, the ventral nerve cord, they will continue to function and do their daily functions. Um, they will still mate, they will still court, they will poop, they will lay eggs. They'll do a lot of these like standard behaviors that are not dependent on olfaction vision. They do have still aversion behavior because the gustatory receptors, so those are detecting acids and bases, are located within the leg of the animal. And so they'll still be able to detect acids and bases and like potential food substrates even though they can't eat them. Now, if you define a central nervous system as brain, nerve cord, that element, then there is a nervous system insofar as there is a brain there is a ventral nerve cord and that is connecting to the rest of like the body via ganglion and so there that sensory system is processed up in the brain it's just you can remove the head and the animal continues to survive